Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gapac USA. In this video, I'm going to show you, I'm going, going to teach you how to fix if you have a HP, maybe it's a workstation. In this case, we have the model that I'm going to show you right now. This is the C600. Maybe you have 800 or something like that, another model. And if the fans are all the way, so are full speed, and it's very annoying, of course, or sometimes the computer will not turn on by itself. Maybe you can shut it off, but you cannot turn it on pushing the the, the button, the, the front of button that you have here. So I'm going to show you, teach you how to fix these kind of things. So that is very easy. So, so now I'm going to change the camera. So I'm going to show you right now. So in this case, we have, like I said before, we have in this case, as you can see, HP C600. And the case is very easy. If you are maybe handling or replacing the, the power supply or maybe cleaning or whatever. So in this case, I have a, if you are asking, I have a, a video card. In this case, it's a, a very, one of the latest one is a, a GeForce 1070. So I, I was playing with this, with this car and when I was swapping the, the power supply, I didn't realize and, and unplug one of these connectors. So I'm going to show you uh, uh, very close, closely, so you, as you can see, this connector. So this uh, yellow connector that you can see here, this uh, is one of the connectors that goes to the panel. So if you have some issue, maybe it's not uh, plugging in all the way or, 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 or another connectors. So I recommend that all connectors have to be all the way in. So that is uh, one of the things that you're going to have. Maybe these kind of fans that you, you see here, they're going to be all the way. Um, another issue that I had before was that I, I mean, bes beside the, the fan that was full speed, I had the problem that when I turned off the, the computer and I wanted to turn it on, it, it wasn't working and I had to reset the, the BIOS in order to, to turn it on. So I didn't realize and that was the, the issue. So this video was uh, very short. I hope it was useful. If you have any comment, leave me a, a, a comment in the section below. Remember to subscribe and see you in the next class. Bye.